So we're going to introduce this guy called draggable object. It's a new class which will collect the common implementation details between ball and square. We'll do this by simply copying ball to draggable object and commenting out the parts that, di that are different between ball and square. So let's see. Yeah, the init fields are the same, and the right edge and left edge fields are the same, and selected huh is the same. Uh, radius has only to do is only for ball, so we'll leave that out. The initialization is the same. The super new and the send box subscribe this that's the same. Uh, the subscriber change edge method that's the same. Add to scene is ball specific. However, we would like this. We would like our draggable objects to satisfy the stateful world object interface. So to do that, we say abstract add to scene. That says, that tells Racket that this is a method that is supposed to be supplied by the subclass. And if the subclass doesn't supply it, Racket will complain. On mouse was the same. On key was the same. On tick was the same. But of course, would hit right edge and place at right edge. Uh, those guys were different. They were they differed from ball between ball and square. Now we'll take ball and we'll do the opposite thing. We'll comment out all the parts of the implementation that were in common and we just put up in draggable object. We'll inherit all those from the superclass and we'll just keep the stuff that is unique and different in ball. X, Y, box, and speed are now inherit fields rather than init fields. Yeah, all this stuff about initialization is going to be inherited from the superclass. Selected huh, left edge and right edge will inherit from the superclass. Radius, on the other hand, is specific to ball. And of course, I have to write super new in every class. That's a required incant magical incantation. Okay, yeah, all this stuff was in the superclass. There's a probe method, which in fact is dead code that's, that seems to have worked its way into this file. Here's add to scene. Add to scene is going to be a define override. It overrides that abstract method in the superclass. On mouse was up in the superclass. On tick was up in the superclass. All that's left are the ball specific geometry functions place at right edge, place at left edge, would hit right edge, and would hit left edge. And of course, uh, yes, and of course, and inside this. Okay, there's flashing ball, which just inherits from ball as it did before. Now we'll do the same thing for square. Again, x, y, box, and speed are inherited. Selected left edge and right edge are inherited. Size is unique to ball. And add to scene is unique to ball. It's a different add to scene than it was from the other one. All right, on mouse and on tick are the same, and now of course I'm going to have the square specific geometry functions. So let's try running this. It's not abstract add to scene s, it's just abstract add to scene. But inside this, unbound identifier in module in inside this hump. So what's going on here? Well, inside this is a function, but there's no inside this function that's defined in draggable object. Right in here, we're, we're inside this the superclass draggable object, and we're calling a function called inside this. But inside this is down in the, the subclass, and this poor guy has no way of knowing about it. 
So what are we going to have to do? What we're going to have to do is to take all those functions and turn them into methods so we can make them abstract methods.